Uh, this is Zen Kishimoto with uh, Network.tv, reporting from the floor of uh, Cloud Connect 2012 in Santa Clara, California. With me here is the uh, uh, Nati Shalom from the Giga Spaces. He's the founder and CTO. They have a very interesting solution. Let's find out what they do. Hey, uh, Nati, um, I understand that you have a very interesting solution, but before that, see, cloud computing is getting pretty interesting, and, but getting very complex, and there are lots of problems that we never really expected before. What particular problem am I trying to solve? Uh, basically, the main problem is how do you bring application to the cloud? Uh, many people think that you know, cloud solves all the problem and expect that you know, they just launch the application and everything will be good. Uh, the fact is that it's fairly complex. So how do you do this? Uh, do you have any system, automated system to do that? Yeah, uh, basically the product is called Cloudify. And Cloudify uh, does a lot of that magic of bringing any application, any stack to any cloud. And I can elaborate later how, okay. that's, how that magic works. Okay. Well, let's just uh, ask you to draw some picture because uh, that, that way I can understand a little bit more. So basically the way it works is that you have uh, something that we call a recipe concept that was developed in uh, the DevOps world. A recipe, as its name suggests, is where you define your application. You define, when we're talking about an application, we're talking about the life cycle of the application. And then we're defining about the KPIs of the application. The KPIs are the key performance indicators. And then we use that information to create SLA. So the way it works is that you define all those things in a recipe. And then Cloudify, if you think about it, it's like a grainer, big grainer, that understand that definition. Take that definition and translate it into a machine or into provisioning language. And then, once you understand that, it talks to the cloud, the infrastructure as a service. Where from a Cloudify perspective, cloud is just a pool of a lot of machines that you could launch on demand. So what it does, it reads that definition, understand how many machines needs to be running to fill in the request, and then it reads what part of services are you looking for. So for example, it could be that you're looking to install Tomcat. You're looking to install MySQL. It also defines the dependency between them. Basically, the Tomcat is dependent on the database. That means that I need to provision my SQL before I'm provisioning Tomcat. So what it will do, it will actually do all that operation. It will say, okay, I see that you want to deploy Tomcat and, my, and, and, and MySQL. First, I need to deploy MySQL. It will go to one of the machines, plug into that machine, install MySQL, which include the process of bringing the binaries, then configuring it, and then launching it, starting it. Once it starts, it will do the same thing for Tomcat. So this would be a Tomcat service. The thing that is different with Tomcat is that Tomcat needs to know about the MySQL database. So the other thing that it will do is we, it will tell Tomcat, here's the database, this is the IP of my SQL. When that finishes up, you get a full-blown application up and running with the data in the database, with a link to that. And the nice thing is that we have an abstraction with Cloudify, which is called Cloud Driver, which enables us to do that same thing on your local environment. Could be just a simple laptop, or on a pool of machine that has no virtualization. This would be just a bare metal pool of machine, or in any other clouds. First of all, there are a lot of examples that comes with a product. So the simplest solution is to use any of the recipes, pretty much like you would use application on App Store. You install an application, and the recipe of that application that you install on App Store is already defined by someone else. Once you have those recipes as an example, you could also customize it and create your own recipes. 
Great. Uh, so this can be applied to any uh, cloud, public or private? Yes, including your laptop itself. Okay. Thank you very much for interesting uh, product. Thank you very much. This was Zen Kishimoto. Be sure to sign in to netcork.tv.